Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 176 Blazing Meteor Sure Fong could not help but wonder when he was suddenly called. After all, Weissman was a Tier 4 wizard and the tyrant of White River City. Any item he gave would have unlimited uses to Sure Fong. Regardless of the circumstances, my good friend still sent you. Take this item and this letter. Hand them over to Master Siliora. It may be of some help to you. Weissman took out a flame red-colored crystal and a letter, handing them to Sherfone. Lord Weissman, thank you for your help. I will complete this agreement as soon as possible, Sherfone said gratefully. System. Unique Quest Demon's Heart Accepted. Quest Details. Go to the Demon's Castle and obtain the Demon's Heart for Weissman. Quest Rewards. Unknown. System. Hidden Quest Search for Siliora Accepted. Quest Details. Look for Siliora in White River City and pass her the items that Weissman has given you. Quest Rewards. Unknown. Instantly, Sure Fong received two precious quests. They were both more amazing than any high-level quests, especially the unique quest. As long as Sure Fong completed it, he could earn shocking rewards. Since he had received the quests, Sure Fong would not continue to waste his time here. He departed from the city hall immediately, summoning a horse carriage and dashing towards the free zone of White River City. The person Weissman wanted him to look for, Siliora, was a master forger. In White River City, very few players would know of Siliora's fame. However, that did not mean that Siliora was not amazing. On the contrary, Siliora was known as a genius in the forging world. Siliora had become a master forger at a very young age, and she was only a step away from becoming a grandmaster forger. However, Siliora preferred to maintain a low profile, so not many people were aware of her existence. Sure Fong was one of the scant few players who knew about Siliora. Moreover, Sure Fong even knew where Siliora lived. The hidden quest Weissman gave might have troubled other players, but it was no trouble to Sure Fong at all. As for the unique quest Demon's Heart, Sure Fong could only leave it alone for now. He also still had the epic quest Darkness Descends. Although Charlin was also in White River City, Sure Fong was too poor right now. He could not afford the information fee of 10 gold coins. So, he could only leave it alone for now as well. Moreover, when compared to the Demon's Heart quest, an epic quest was most likely much harder to complete. Even if Sure Fong had the clue to complete the epic quest, he would still be powerless to complete it. So, he might as well set it aside for now. In any case, he had 30 days to complete it, and the time limit was still far away. It would not be too late for him to accomplish the quest after he further raised his strength. Twenty-something minutes later, Sure Fong finally arrived a very small smithy located within the free zone. The wooden door to the smithy was still closed. If outsiders saw this, they would think that the smithy was either closed to the public or no longer in operation. So, naturally, nobody would visit this place. After paying the 60 copper carriage fee, Sure Fong walked towards the humble-looking smithy, knocking on the door gently. However, even after a long time, Sure Fong did not receive an answer. Hello, Master Siliora. I was sent here by Lord Weissman. I have with me a letter for you from the magistrate. If Sure Fong barged into the smithy, even after having knocked for a long while without an answer and possessing the status of a noble, the guards would apprehend him and lock him up in jail for a good while. Hence, Sure Fong could only use a big character like Weissman to lure Siliora out. That way, Siliora would not continue feigning ignorance. After some time, there was finally some movement in the house. Kachik, the thick wooden door opened, and a great beauty dressed in a black leather shirt stepped out. Below the large V-shaped collar, her ample bosom revealed itself. The beauty wore a pair of extremely short leather pants, revealing her long and slender legs. Her skin was a healthy wheat color, and her dark hair cascaded down to her fine and delicate waist. Her entire body gave off a wild charm. The woman before him was indeed the master forger, Siliora. If Blackie could see this sight before Sure Fong right now, he would whistle his praise, his drool puddling on the ground. For Sure Fong, however, 
He had long since grown accustomed to such a sight. Siliora was the black rose of the forging world, and she was one of the rare few beauties who worked as a forger. After all, most forgers were muscular barbarians, unlike Siliora who was a young beauty, both sexy and attractive. I'm very busy. Pass me the thing and leave, Siliora spoke impatiently, glancing at Shurfong. Hearing Siliora speaking in such a way, Shurfong felt extremely familiar with these words. He felt as if he had heard of them before from somewhere. After giving it some thought, Shurfong suddenly recalled something. Wasn't he usually fond of using these words? This is the letter that Lord Weissman wanted me to give you. Shurfong took out the letter, passing it to Siliora. Siliora received the letter. Not sparing the letter a single glance, she arbitrarily said, You can return now. Siliora started shutting the wooden door. Shurfong was immediately left speechless, even though he had long since known of Siliora's personality. He couldn't help but admit that any sort of master would have their own strange personality. Siliora was no exception. However, Shurfong had made Siliora submit in his previous life, so there was no reason he could not do so now. Moreover, he seemed to have learned his catchphrase, I'm busy, from Siliora. I'll leave, then. Shurfong took out the flame red-colored crystal given to him by Weissman as he said so. He toyed with the crystal as he turned to leave. The flame red crystal gave off a dazzling red-colored glow. Just by taking it out, the fire-type mana in the surrounding area started crazily gathering around the crystal. The flame red glow increased its brilliance, attracting the attention of all onlookers. Wait, Siliora suddenly called out to Shurfong. Master Siliora, do you still have some other matter? Shurfong turned, a faint smile on his face as he asked. At this moment, Siliora's large eyes were already glued onto the flame red crystal in Shurfang's hand. She was like an enamored little kitten, and her eyes followed the flame red crystal's movement in Shurfang's hand, going up and down with great interest. Although Siliora's personality was somewhat strange, she too faced a common problem that all forgers faced the desire of rare forging materials. There was not a single forger out there who did not wish to create an item, famed throughout the entire continent, in their lifetime. Meanwhile, the prerequisite to create such an item was incomparably precious materials. Take the abyssal blade in Shurfang's hands, for example. In order for its fame to spread throughout the continent, the famous smith, Alice's, used the Black Dragon King's Fong as its core forging material. What was the Black Dragon King? That was the king among dragons, which represented destruction. It was a frightening creature that was the closest being to a god. Just the breath it spat out could destroy a city with millions of inhabitants. It was a frightening existence that could single-handedly destroy an entire kingdom. Meanwhile, to create the Abyssal Blade, the most precious fong of that frightening existence's body was necessary. In the end, after the Abyssal Blade's creation, it became one of the 36 famed swords in God's domain. The Abyssal Blade's existence shook all of God's domain, and even after thousands of years, its might was still boundless. Can you sell me that item? Siliora asked, her face filled with desire, her tone making a complete transformation. Shurfong shook his head, saying, I am truly sorry, Master Siliora, but Lord Weissman originally wanted me to bring this item to you to forge an item for me. However, seeing as you are busy, I would feel bad to continue disturbing you. So, I intend to look for Master Prost and see if he will make the item that I want. What? You are actually going to take this precious material to that old bastard, Prost? Do you know how wasteful you are being? If you want to forge an item, I can help you. Also, since you are a swordsman with this item, I would have no problems forging a blazing meteor of relatively high quality. If you give this material to that old bastard, he will definitely ruin it.